Come in. How can I help you? We're in the middle of lunch. Well, I'm sorry to inconvenience you, but I'm here to take my son home. We'll give it a minute, yeah? Well, considering I had no idea he was here, I think I've given it long enough, don't you? Hello. Hi. Is there a problem? Not at all. I'm just here to take my son home. Oh. Well, he hasn't had his pudding yet. We'll get an ice cream. Let's go, please, Hunter. But he's our guest. I never let a guest leave without their pudding. Yeah, all right, Sharon. It's just the way I was brought up, Phil. Now, Hunter, you can stay, darling, for as long as you like, OK? Excuse me? Home. I would really like it if Hunter could stay for pudding. Right, let's settle, then, you stay. No, it's not settled. So are you. I like my chair. Phil. What? You want it to stay? He's staying. What difference does it make if she stays as well? Come and sit down. Phil, could you help me with the cream, please? Um, Billy and I can help you do that, Sharon, can't we? Yeah, yeah. Phil. I'm with our guests. Now. Something well, I thought the lamb was ever so tender, didn't you, Billy? Yeah, yeah, it was lovely. And you're still clinging to her after what? More than 20 years? Well, maybe if I'm nice to her, maybe if I do the right thing, you know, it's pathetic. You finished? Oh, I could go on all day, darling. Oh. Well, you think I didn't know? That you and Michelle and your, your little cups, eh? How stupid do you think I am? So what? I think I can get food lunch with you without a drink. Hey, you. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna smile and be the perfect hostess. And you're gonna give Mel the largest serving. And no one is gonna know how drunk you are. Do you understand me? I understand. Right. Who's for pudding? <laughs> 